Hey everybody, how you doing? I am Yan and I listen to debut songs and comeback songs for the first time with you all. So today we're listening to a band called FT Island and man oh man I'm super excited. I have listened to FT Island for many many years like way back in the beginning my friend introduced me to this group and I was like oh okay like I was into k-pop and didn't know much about k-bands so I was like sure and I fell in love with majority of their songs and I really uh, Honky just has a very very unique voice and it's just great to see him you know being back with his bandmates or at least some of his bandmates as some of them have started a family and all but very very happy that they can still have FT Island and it's just great to see him and the whole group it's just really good music check out their previous songs um, even the very old ones you know with the darker eyeliners and all that fun stuff like go there okay so their comeback song is called Unthinkable and I don't know, will it just be as catchy as before? Like, it's been so long since I've actually listened to them, and I feel like it might be slightly nostalgic for me, but anyways, let's check out their comeback song right now. Oh, I mean, I really liked FT Island songs, I just never knew the members' names except Honky, which is the main vocalist. Uh, however, the whole group is just very talented in creating music as well, so... Yeah, I'm ready. Let's enjoy their comeback song, Unthinkable. It's usually sad too, the songs. 내 생각보다 더 깊이 사랑했었나 봐 함께 했던 날들이 나만 좋았나 봐 꿈에서도 본적 없는 우리 이별이 화살처럼 파고드는 마지막 말이 내가 사랑한 네가 다른 사람 같아 너 말고 누굴 사랑한다는 게 말이 안돼더 이상 너를 안을 수 없단 게 말이 안돼날 떠난다는 게 What just happened here? It's not... Why is it so sad? Oh, 
Wait, did he die? Or did... Someone has to die in this. It... Let me go back to the beginning and figure out. It was definitely very symbolic. I mean, the song sounded very great and definitely touching and emotional, but mm, what happened? Okay, let's go back and see what's up. So we see Honky just walking out somewhere, looking devastated, very sad, very unexcited for, you know, even a little teary here. And we notice he got a scratch going on and he wanders into this house and he just looks very emotional like i thought it was a breakup of some sort and we didn't know right i thought it was just something that he's going through inside and it's just struggling but they did you know emphasize the little mark on his face i was like was he like fighting with someone but anyways we open the door and we go inside and it was just him technically all by himself i think the friends and the girlfriend he saw were all just his imagination or his memories because here it seems like no one has been in here for a very very long time and he just sits there thinking just looking and gazing kind of just at nothing and so then we see two friends coming in celebrating looking very happy and festive and kind of playing and having cheers you know toast with with everyone and so i thought like they came over to make hunky feel better right maybe it was like a breakup of some sort and went to cheer him on but then we see you know um he kind of gets back into the mood kind of happy there's a light going on right very festive playing but then his two friends notice that there's something wrong with Honky. He's really not getting into the feeling of it. And so they're checking on him, but he's like, you know, I'm just going to go up and rest. I'm kind of tired. And the party kept going on without him. And then when we're up in the attic, he looks like he's thinking of the good times and we see a girl there. Clearly a girl will not just stay up in the attic waiting for him. So I know this part was probably his memories of some sort. And we get to see how, you know, he spent a really nice time with this girl, listening to music, talking, dancing, very romantic and sweet, right? Making memories together. And then we see um, this vase fall and crashed. And so that part was probably the turn of like what actually happened. And later on, we see everything reversed, right? Going back in time, everything was good, party, friends, love, um, celebrating. But then we go back into the darkness where we see, you know, this car totally destroyed, um, broken, shattered. And we end here with no one in the car the door did open so it might be honky um who has left the car and that's how he got hurt and that's how he got the scratches but what really happened to the two guy friends and maybe his girlfriend we don't know but it sounded very very sad very touching and so i really want to hop on to google now and see what the english translations are because oh it was sad. A lot of his songs are more on the sad side, but not this sad, or at least I don't recall anyone dying or being in a car accident. Um, but it's definitely sad. So maybe unthinkable is like he didn't even expect that to happen at all to anyone. And here we are in reality in this MV. So yeah, tell me what you thought. I really love his voice and his acting has improved a lot. I know he he's had he has been in multiple dramas and such too, so definitely, you know, a good actor as well. But yeah, tell me what you thought of this song and just the storyline. If I missed anything or if I was a bit wrong, please let me know. But yeah, continue to enjoy FT Island. Check out their other songs as well in the past. I'll try and uh, recommend you some in the comments as well. So yeah, thanks for watching. Continue to support FT Island. And no matter how sad it is, still enjoy Unthinkable. I think it's very touching and I would probably add it to my playlist as well. <laughs> Alright, thank you and I'll see you another time.